2012. EFA 2012 kicked off with a bang, as a whole host of new products were announced on the first day in Berlin. Samsung stole the headlines with the unveiling of the Galaxy Note 2. A cross between a phone and a tablet, the follow-up to last year's Galaxy Note features an even bigger 5.5-inch screen and will run on the latest version of Android, Jelly Bean. Here's what J.K. Shin, president and the head of IT at Samsung Electronics, had to say of the new device. I'm pretty confident that the Galaxy Note 2 will surpass the success of the existing Galaxy Note. We will actively collaborate with the mobile operators to launch Galaxy Note 2 in October this year. And of course, we will do our best to have a majority of these great new and innovative features of the Galaxy Note 2 be available for our existing Galaxy Note customers. Whilst the announcement of the Galaxy Note 2 was expected, the launch of the Samsung Galaxy camera came as a total surprise. The company has bucked the recent trend of putting more and more powerful cameras into smartphones by using a lot of the features of a traditional smartphone in a point-and-shoot camera. It seems hybrid is the buzzword of this year's IFA, with tablet-laptop crossovers being announced by Samsung, Sony and Dell. Samsung announced three native Windows 8 tablets that can work as either a tablet or as a laptop when attached to a keyboard dock. Sony announced a convertible Ultrabook the Vio Duo 11, that allows the screen to slide up to reveal a keyboard underneath. Sony also announced a device that will be a little harder for you to get your hands on, a massive 84-inch 4K-enabled TV that offers four times the resolution of HD. But don't try and find the space for the screen in your living room just yet, as the TV is likely to be priced at around £20,000 when it's released later this year.